Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been completely gone ever since I moved to this barn because I've been so, so busy. This video was actually filmed in May, so it's been quite a long time from then. And as you can see, Aquilina was already looking so much better. She's looking incredible now, I'm so happy. But I filmed a groom and tack up with me and this happened to be the perfect day because Aquilina made herself filthy just for the occasion. So first I'm starting off with a magic brush. And in this video she still hadn't completely shed. So that's why she has that fuzzy spot on her stomach. So I just used the magic brush to get rid of all the dry mud. Next, I'm using this jelly scrubber, which is basically a curry comb, and I'm going over her whole body just to loosen up all the dirt that I didn't get off with the magic brush and some hair. I'm so sorry for not being active. Ever since we moved here, I was going every day after school. And I had exams and just no time for anything. But I always post on my Instagram if you wanna go follow me there too. So now I'm just using this hard brush and this is my stiffer hard brush. And this one I'm using first. Next, I'm going in with my second hard brush. I just call this a hard brush, but I think some people would call this a flick brush because it has longer bristles. And this gets rid of a lot of dirt quickly. And now I'm using a soft brush to get the finer dirt and dust off her. I always make sure to do their legs. I know it's easy to forget, but it's so important to do their legs. And I'm using this Ecolicious Glossy Spray. I love this spray. It is incredible, and it makes her shiny. That's why she is so much shinier than before, honestly. And here I'm using my new wall. I guess it's a soft brush too, but it's more like a finishing or polishing brush. And I like to use this after I have went in with the body spray. And now I'm just picking her hooves. This is before she got shoes, but Aquilina actually has shoes now, so maybe you'll see them soon. And I always try to brush off the outside of the hoof as well. I don't brush her mane every single time, but I had a lesson this day, so I made sure to use some detangler since I was brushing her mane. And I do the same with her tail. I first pick out the pieces. This is my Equestrian Stockholm saddle pad, and I love this color so much. It's so pretty on her. So I take my saddle cover off, and then I put my saddle on and my half hat always slips back so I just pulled it forward and I'm putting the loops in I know a lot of people don't use the straps but I personally do and then I do up her girth after I've done all the straps I've gotten a new girth since this and then after I put the girth on I like to kind of stretch her front legs to make sure that the girth isn't pinching any of her skin it just loosens everything up. I'm putting on some gray polos to match the saddle pad and this whole set we've got. They're a bit low, but I fixed them later. <laughs> this is the Equestrian Stockholm bonnet that came with the saddle pad. I believe this color is called Dusty Pink.
And when Aquilina and I actually had our first lesson together at this bar and there's some footage on my Instagram account so make sure you go check that out. She was awesome. Now that I, it's summertime, I'm going to be trying to upload a lot more often so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye!